This is Giadora. Well, Giadora, welcome to the program. <laughs> How hey, are you? I'm great. In fact, I've actually been listening to your single Twisted, and you know what? I really like it. I'm so glad to hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so good. Yeah. Well, I want to get into some specifics on it, but first, uh, when did that drop? Did, was that just last week? Yeah, it dropped on July 5th. Okay. Um, yeah, so it just recently came out, and um, it's been doing pretty good so far. Um, since it's only been up for, I mean, like, not even a week yet. Sure. Um, yeah, what are some of the feedback you've been getting? I know it has sort of a dance-oriented groove, but it's also kind of chill and laid back. Like, what genre yeah. would you say it is? Uh, I definitely say it's pop, uh, 100%. Um, but it does go into dance and R&B a little bit. Um, because a lot of my background is more soulful. So my voice kind of brings that tone to the song. Now, you also wrote the song, too, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. I wrote the lyrics and the melody, and then I worked with my producer for the composition. Now, what's interesting about it, since it has such a light feel on the surface, it actually has some pretty deep lyrics, and I was just really curious what motivated the writing and, and the meaning behind the song. Well, a lot of what I write um, comes from personal experience, or um, even storytelling sometimes. So this particular song was just an idea that I came up with. It just, usually my songs will just flow out of me within a matter of 10 minutes. And this song just came together, like, really quick. Um, but, yeah, I love, I love writing in kind of an emotional um, aspect. So a lot of my lyrics are very emotional, especially this song. <laughs> the lyrics are very deep. Um, yeah, that's... Well, the whole uh, title, Twisted, I wouldn't say it's a revenge song, but it's, to me, the theme was, you know, the best revenge is living well. And instead of yeah. lashing out, it's like you becoming your best person. Yeah, definitely. And so that's, this song is kind of, it tells a story of how someone mistreats you or doesn't show you who they really are. And so therefore, you know, I'm, basically saying, well, I can give that right back to you if that's what you, if that's how you want to treat me. So it is it is almost a revenge song, but it's it's not completely that exactly. <laughs> well what strikes me too is you seem very representative of young women, you know, your age, you know, on Instagram yeah. doing their thing, but at the same time yeah. wanting to support other women. It seems like you have a very inclusive theme to your music. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And you'll be able to see that a lot in the other songs that I release in the future mm -hmm. because it's just my writing style. It kind of correlates together. Well, as a writer, who's influenced you the most? Um, I, you know, I definitely give a lot to Amy Winehouse. She is just such an incredible songwriter, along with Adele. Them both, I really love vocally even. They, too, are my top musical influencers. Um, I also, I listened to a lot of bands growing up. Um, so I would listen to Arctic Monkeys a lot. I like the way Alex Turner writes his lyrics. Um, that kind of that kind of styling, definitely. Yeah, I can definitely see that. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. it's fun pop music, but it has depth to it. And it sounds like, yeah. you know, striking that balance is the challenge for you. It's, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Now, you say you're from the L.A. area, Los Angeles? Yeah. Okay. You know, everything is so online nowadays, you know, YouTube, Facebook feeds and all that, but do you actually get a chance to perform live in the Los Angeles area? I have a few times, yeah. Um, I've done a few shows. I did a show at Genghis Cohen, Glitch Woodshed, Room 5, right before it closed down. Um, so it's smaller venues around town, mm -hmm. uh, so I've been able to 
experience that a little bit. And it's been really fun. Um, but I'm looking forward to hopefully some of the bigger venues that I would like to go to in the future. <laughs> oh, exactly. Well, for someone like you, you know, wanting to promote a new single, I mean, what would be your preferred outlets? Is it like, would you like to get to Coachella someday? Definitely. I would love to perform at festivals. Um, I really wanted to perform at Hoya, but I don't think they continue that anymore. But definitely Coachella would be a big um, goal. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems like you'd fit in and. Maybe it's my age showing, but, you know, I, I see you as, you know, the Instagram generation. You're very photo savvy, you know. Are you connecting through Instagram or using online to actually book gigs or reach out to people who could, you know, maybe book you at a festival? Um, so far, I'm not quite sure Instagram provides that. I haven't met anyone through there that could do that, but... Uh, that's not to say that can't happen. So potentially, that would be awesome. Um, but I, I definitely do use Instagram a lot to connect with fans, to connect with anybody that's supporting me. It's my, it's my biggest platform that I work off of. Um, yeah, and, and, and I've uh, seen, and I've seen your Instagram. I, I would encourage people to go see it there because yeah. you definitely are, you know, fashion forward. Is that the correct yeah. term? <laughs> uh -huh. And yeah. I think, you know, you're the type that I would think that advertisers would want you to be like a brand ambassador, you know. Oh, yeah, or, I would hope. <laughs> yeah, or, um, you know, get endorsements. Yeah. Uh, well, I, at the moment, I don't have any endorsements, um, but I think there's some in the works that I'm not 100% of right now, but hopefully well, this so. sounds like a, a ground floor opportunity. There's a clean slate and Gia doors available. So, hey, yeah. maybe after this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, I hope so. <laughs> hey, well, let's get back. You said you uh, collaborated on the recording. Like, did you have um, an outside producer that you worked with? Yeah, so his name is Vision. Uh, he's from the UK. He used to be in a group called uh, Five Star in the oh. UK. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, so he started doing production. So we came together and made this great single. And uh, we just really get along. We really know how each other works. Like, I give him a demo. I sing him a little bit of a song. And he immediately hears the rest of the track, of the track in his head and just goes for it. And it's just, it comes together perfectly. Well, I love the production values on it, so it really sounds yeah. like you guys really gelled together. Oh, yeah, definitely. We definitely work great. You know, nowadays, and I don't know if it's for this song or for future songs, but, you know, it seems like remix, you know, is going to be the next step for this. Have you thought of, uh, you know, what remixers you want to work with? Um, at the moment, I'm not quite sure. I love uh, I love remixes for other songs, so I'm really looking forward to seeing who would want to remix their song and what they'll do to it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to be the next step, definitely, seeing what other people want to do with this song. Even though you're aiming for the pop charts, you know how important is it, do you think, to break a song on the dance charts as well? I think it's really important. Um, I went to school for a little bit for production and it was primarily house music and remixing um, and DJing. And I saw how amazing it is to transform a track to sound very different but still keep the same qualities to it. So I really, and I actually made an EDM track before in the past, so I have a lot of respect and a lot of love for that kind of music. And I think that pushing that is great. Well, do you think that also helps your exposure the way that your producer does? Yeah. Like, like if you hooked up with an up-and-coming remixer, could you guys help each other? I think so, definitely. If they if they create a track to be a certain way, um, dance tracks have a different potential than regular pop tracks. I mean, you know, obviously, I'm it's going to go somewhere the original song will, but dance tracks a lot of exposure in many different places 
than my original track will get. Mm-hmm. So it just adds together, and then it's just this exposure across so many different platforms, so many different places. Well, which songs are inspiring you now? And that could be either, um, you know, dance tracks, pop songs. You know, who who would you like to be on the charts right now? What was that? Who would you like to emulate? You know, who would whose success or sound would you like to have of, say, you know, who's top 10 on the pop charts right now? Who are you really connecting with? I feel like Halsey, 100%. Mm-hmm. I I love her styling. Um, a lot of people hear my tracks and kind of pair us together a little bit. Um, and she has had some songs that have been remixed too that have gone crazy. Um, so uh, definitely, definitely healthy. And mm-hmm. you know she's just blowing up right now, which is amazing because I love her music. So it sounds like someone with a good pop sensibility, but backed up with good vocals and a lot of substance. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Now, do you have a whole uh, album of songs that you're going to be releasing? Uh, in the future, yes. Um, but currently, we have this one single out. We're going to be releasing another single in the future. Um, and we're going to work our way up to an album, but an album will be coming out. Mm-hmm. Coming well, we still got a lot of summer left. Are you going to make any summer appearances? Because I have to say, I think this song has such a good summer feel to it. Summer pool uh-huh. party, you know, getting together with friends, a little VIP lounge kind of feel. Um, are there any summer events you could either perform this at or have it played at? Um, currently, I'm not quite sure. Um, I, that is something that I would love to be able to do. I'd love to be able to perform at maybe a festival that's going on here. Um, but at the moment, I think we're pushing to make a trip out to London and do some stuff over there. Because the song is doing pretty well over in the UK right now. Oh, very Um, interesting. Is that in part because of your producer? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, dream place for you to perform in London? Um, I know that they have the the, uh, Glastonbury Festival. Yes, yes. Is that that the correct name? I think so. I think so. Mm-hmm. Um, no, that's a big one. I, that would be great for you. Yeah, I would love to perform there. I just I've seen so many videos. Um, it's, I feel like it's almost like the Coachella of the UK in a way. Yeah, um, good comparison. That, yeah, that would definitely be a dream. Perform there. Well, so say you made your way over there. Who would be your dream duet in the UK? In the ah. Uh, Adele. I would love to work with Adele. Oh my gosh. She's, like I said, she's one of my main influences. So that would just be incredible to be able to work with her. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people, you know, they, they get a lot of momentum by opening for other acts. Yeah. So besides definitely. Adele, who are like the two or three like biggest people you, you would love to open for and kind of that you think their fans would become your fans? Uh... I definitely feel like Halsey's up there. Um, Dua Lipa as well. Uh, I feel like we're somewhat similar. She's very poppy. Um, potentially Julia Michaels or Zara Larson, one of those girls. Um, because we're both kind of, or we're all kind of in the same field mm-hmm. uh, for the pop sector. And I know that Dua Lipa kind of goes into the dance world as well. So. Mm-hmm. Definitely those. And of course, I mean, you got to have a great video. Are, are there any music videos in the works for you? Yeah, we're definitely we're putting something together to release soon. Um, that's definitely going to happen. I I would love to put a, vi- a video together to release for this song. Mm-hmm. And uh, what kind of theme or what kind of storyline would it be? Just a performance video? Do you envision you know some kind of storyline to it? Yeah, I'm definitely, I, with all my videos that I'm going to be making, I want it to be like you're watching the story 
unfold. I want it to be like you're watching a movie. So um, I'm, I'm hoping that we could put something together that kind of is cin- cinematic in a way and really impressive in that sense. So you're, it sounds like you're aiming high for something like that. Yes, definitely. I would love to. That would be the goal. <laughs> well, I'm excited. I would love to see it because I think, you know, like I said, I really like this song. I think it would be really conducive yeah. to a video. But uh, we're yeah. going to wrap up here in a minute. But um, I would just like to give you the chance to just share a little bit more about you. Obviously, you're a great singer, songwriter. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, who is Giador, the young woman? You live in L.A. You know, what do you like to do? And, you know, what are some of your passions? Um. Well, definitely anything having to do with the art. Um, I'm a very creative mindset, so I love writing. I love uh, painting, drawing, anything having to do with being creative. Um, I mean, music is my primary, um, but when I'm just at home, I definitely love to go out and experience things. I love traveling. I love being with my friends. And uh, getting out and just experiencing life helps me write because it helps me get motivated and it helps me see things and be able to story tell better. So I try and get out as much as possible and just enjoy life and have fun. Okay, top three clubs to go to in Los Angeles. (laughs) You know, surprisingly, I don't ever go to clubs. I don't, uh, uh, I think I've only been to one. I've been to Poppy in West Hollywood before, and that was very interesting. <laughs> you're, just, you're just too busy creating to go out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're here. Go out, it's a different kind of fun. It's not so much going out to party. It's, it's more of just going out and feeling free and having fun with my friends. I hear you. That's cool. How, yeah, how, yeah. how about this then? Because you're so good at styling on Instagram. So what are your, your top three favorite places in LA to shop for clothes? Oh, okay. Melrose, <laughs> anything on Melrose really fits me. This, this one store, this one boutique called Timeless on Melrose that I just, I get most of my clothes from. I love that place. I love Urban Outfitters. Definitely always shop there. Um, and then I like going thrifting. I like going to thrift stores. There's one called Wasteland that always has really cool stuff. And so I like going there for a lot of my clothes as well. Oh, cool. Maybe one, yeah. of, one of these places will like dress you for your music video. <laughs> That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be so great. I, I feel like now the expectation's really high. You're, you're kind of locked in now. We got to see an amazing music video from you. <laughs> it's definitely coming. It's in the works. It'll, it'll be there. Well, let's give you a chance to just say one shout out to your fans and just tell them, you know, what are your overall hopes for your Twisted single? Um, just to be heard as much as possible. You know, to all of my fans, I love each and every one of my fans and anyone that puts their time to listening to my song. It means so much. Um, and just getting it heard and getting it played and getting the message across that the song portrays, you know. Um, and that, that's the most important thing to me out of anything. And what are the best ways for them to find you and learn more about your music online? I would definitely... They, they can go to my website, uh, Instagram. Um, Instagram is just all me. So if they want to see me and communicate with me, that's the best place. Um, and my website kind of describes me a little bit as an artist more. And what's your website address? It's geodoramusic.com. Perfect. Well, I so appreciate you being here today. And like I said, love your song, Twisted. And I wish you the best success with it. Thank you so much, Kelly. I appreciate you having me. Okay, Giodora, have a great day. You too. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.